Hey there, and welcome to Plakey, the best project management software for you and your team to organize, track, and complete projects. In this video, we'll dive into an overview of every setting and feature you have available for easy management. We have lots to cover, so let's not waste another second and get right to it. The first stop on our Plakey tour is about boards, where all of your work is organized. Boards act as a blank canvas for you to organize the finer details of a project, such as creating tasks, setting deadlines, assigning tasks, and other important information. If you want to really fine tune and customize the look and feel of your project, you can create a board from scratch. But if you're pressed for time and you want to kick things off quickly, Plakey offers many different pre-made templates that best suit your needs. With board templates, you have the advantage of having everything set up in a pre-made structure. There are a plethora of them, each tailored to a different industry or practice, such as marketing, IT, sales, HR, and more. After you've chosen your template, all you need to do is give it a name and description, and you're all set. Groups are bundles of project-related tasks, all grouped together so that it's easier to keep track of what needs to get done. You can organize them by time, phase, department, color, and other important criteria. Within these groups, you have items, which are tasks, activities, or simply to-dos that you and your team are working on. Sub-items allow you to break down a task into smaller, actionable steps, making it easier to track bigger tasks, projects, and ensure nothing gets overlooked. They function like regular items, with their own statuses, assignees, dates, and all fields set in the board structure. When selecting an item, you'll pull up what's known as an item card. This window will show you the finer details of each item like status, comments made by colleagues, added files, recent activities on an item, and more. This ensures you can stay organized and tapped into what's going on in the project. Now it's just not good project management without the ability to customize, is it? Don't fret, because Plakey has the custom fields feature. Fields in Plakey act as cells on a spreadsheet that include important pieces of information about an item like timelines, priority status, assignees, descriptions, and more. There are multiple field types to choose from, so you have as much flexibility as you need to get organized. So for example, if you want to keep a close eye on who's doing what and when they should have an item completed, you can add a signee field and then a due date or a timeline field. You can even take it a step further by color coding to highlight progress or what the status is on an item. The more fields you add, the more detailed the task is, the better organized you are. A super useful time saver in Plakey is the bulk actions feature where you can make changes and updates to multiple items at once. Now that you're familiar with how to manage all of your tasks, let's look at how some features can help you keep track of your progress. We recognize that everyone has different ways of approaching work, starting with what work looks like. So you have different view types in Plakey. Here, you can customize the format and visuals of your items in each board based on your needs. Each view focuses on unique aspects of your project, how to track progress, and manage your tasks by showing them in different ways. All you need to do is select Add View, and you can choose between three types, 
the table view, the Kanban view, and the Gantt chart. The table view is your standard default view that looks almost like a spreadsheet. Simple and to the point, perfect for sorting, filtering, and quickly finding what you need. The Kanban view arranges your items by selected status fields, displaying them as cards, making it easier to track progress and keep count of your items. Each status is arranged and represented as a different column. So for example, you'll be able to see which item is in progress, stuck on hold, or completed. The Gantt chart is perfect for keeping track of time on projects, scheduling, and keeping team members on tasks. There are a plethora of ways to use the Gantt chart, so you can configure and customize it to you and your team's needs. Try grouping items by person to see each team member's workload by priority to quickly identify the status of high priority tasks and much more. There's so much you can do. The filter and sorting options are great for highlighting certain criteria and info quickly. So if you need to know who's doing what task or need to know a deadline, you can use the filter or sort through fields and find the info you're looking for. You can try many different combinations of filtering and sorting to get the info you need and fast. For an in-progress view, exclude completed tasks and sort by priority to help your team focus. Create a separate view for on-hold tasks to quickly see why tasks are paused and why. After you have selected, configured, customized, filtered, and sorted a view to your liking, you can save it, and not just one, but multiple views if you want. Each view can be created and configured multiple times to keep your team locked in on what's important. If you have a certain way of looking at your work or there's information that's specific to you, you can always opt for using a private view. You can customize and create a view that is tailored to your needs, like applying a specific filter, sorting, or conditional coloring so that you can get what you need when you need it. A private view also allows you to create a personalized view to track tasks and updates using the same board data without affecting other users. No need to waste time navigating through your whole project. Taking your visual game to the next level is making use of conditional coloring. You can set specific colors to items based on your chosen criteria. So if you want to see what items are highest on your priority list, you can set the conditioning to red and each item that applies will be highlighted. This feature, you can quickly identify important tasks and monitor multiple aspects of your project. The summary row is another little gem that focuses on just progress. It's a quick glance that gives you useful data on how your project is going so you can make quick adjustments if you need. If you want a history of all your team's work, you can check it with the activity log. It shows you who did what and when so that you can stay tapped in on all changes, updates, and progress. If you don't want to search through the entire history, you can also check the log for specific items or an entire board if you need. You also have the option to export the activity log as well. So far, you've learned about how to manage your tasks, keep track of all the progress you've made. So now, let's see how Plakey takes your team collaboration to a whole nother level. To start, Flaky allows you to invite people as members to your space via email where you can choose their access level. You also have a permission where you can define how you want to invite new members into a space. From there, you can add them to boards on projects they're a part of. You can choose between full access where they can engage with projects more directly or view only where they can only monitor what's going on in a project. Having added and defined each member, they can start working, commenting, responding, and adding links to files and item cards. Using the at symbol, they can also mention specific team members or entire teams. This is great for adding info, discussing finer details, 
updating progress, and even using checklists to help things move along. Members can make use of replies and reactions to keep lines of communication more open, fun, and engaging. Members can respond to questions faster, confirm info easier, and make suggestions without clogging up space. In your item card, you can also store related files such as documents, images, or any other resources if needed. Each attached file has a unique link you can copy and share, both within and outside of Blakey. This makes for easier access for your team and much better organization since everything is all in one place. Whenever an update or a change happens, you can stay in the loop with notifications. You'll be notified in real time the moment something happens in a project that you're a part of. When getting a notification, you'll also receive an email and for further configuration, you can choose which events you want to be notified on and even have desktop notifications as well. In the notification section, you have four categories. All, unread, I was mentioned, and assigned to me. Whether it's a comment, a change in date, status, or priority, Plakey will let you know. Now, we can discuss how to define and delegate roles and who gets to be in charge of what using these features in Plakey. When a user creates a space in Plakey, they are automatically the owner as default. And as the owner, you'll get to define user roles for each member such as admin, member, or viewer. Each role has specific permissions. For example, admins are granted the full spectrum of permissions and can manage other user roles as well. Members are granted permissions limited to just creating and deleting boards, items, etc. Viewers are only allowed to monitor and follow projects, but can engage directly. When creating a board, you automatically become the board owner, which comes with a little bit of delegation. As a board owner, you'll be able to define board permissions for each user and what they can and can't do in the board. You have edit everything. All board members can make significant changes to the board like adding, deleting, changing fields and field configurations. Edit content only. Board members can only update and create items. Write updates only. Board members can only leave comments and replies. You have two options for creating boards, public and private. Public boards are accessible to all users and allow for anyone to follow and engage with what's going on in a project. For more personal projects or projects that don't require the whole team, you can set boards to private. In case some public boards do have sensitive info, you can always switch the board to private where only you and selected board members have access. On the Teams page, you can see all members and their team groupings, which helps organize everyone working on specific projects more effectively. You can also create and remove teams and choose who can manage teams as well. Lastly, in Profile Settings, switch between light and dark themes, set the time zone, manage notification preferences, and update your personal information. Plakey goes wherever you go. Stay connected and manage your boards on the move with our mobile app, available for both iOS and Android. In Plakey, we protect the data of millions of users worldwide with top-notch security standards, complete transparency, and 24-7 support you can count on. For more information or assistance, visit our help center or contact our support team. We're here to help you get the most out of Plakey. Thank you so much for watching this overview. If you found this video useful and you want to see more in-depth tutorials, check out our website at www.plakey.com or check out our YouTube channel. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you next time.